Today might just be not only the biggest day in Call of the Wild the Angler history, but also the biggest day in the angler's future. If you haven't heard, the game is releasing on console today, and it should be playable on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X. So, in celebration of that, we're heading out here today, and I want to kind of give some beginner tips, some things that can really help out when you're getting started in this game, as well as just generally going around for a fishing expedition and seeing what we can catch. Now, as you might expect, different lures and different baits will attract different species of fish, but if there's one particular lure that I find attracts a lot of different species and will be really good bang for your buck early on, it is the spoon lure. The particular one we're using here is the hook size 5. Size 6 works good too, you're just going to catch more small fish, and that is another kind of mechanic of the angler. Larger lures are only going to attract larger fish, and you can catch larger fish on smaller lures. You're just going to attract small fish more often, which will just keep the larger fish from biting. That size 5 one catches good sized fish. I've got a lot of big pike and tiger muskie, a bunch of trout, bass will bite on this thing. It's a really good option as you're getting started. One lure can catch a bunch of fish. Another thing I'd really highly recommend as you're getting started, at every one of the different outposts around the map, you've got these boards here with challenges and we can go ahead and enter this bronze fishing challenge. We've got two different ones here, one that we've already entered, that's the bronze mountain whitefish. We also have one for a bronze rainbow trout. So we'll go ahead and activate those. And it's just gonna be a way to earn a little bit of credits. And as you go through these challenges, it starts at bronze, goes up through silver, gold, and diamond. Gold and diamond tokens are really useful in this game and missions that are going to allow you to catch those fish, and I'll talk about more of that in a moment, are really nice for that. Now, when you activate these challenges, be sure to check on the map because it's going to give you a particular area to actually attempt to catch those fish in. And the way that it works is that it'll actually spawn the type of fish you need in that particular spot. So if we look on the map, we have this area right here highlighted. We have to take a car down to here and we have a little 1000 foot run to go on before we can try to do it. And you don't have to be exactly where the marker shows. I find that once you're close enough that the marker actually disappears, you're in the area to complete the challenge. So we're just gonna cast kind of down in there. And that size five spoon that we talked about is going to be perfect for rainbow trout. Ooh, and just like that, got into actually a pretty good sized fish based on the tension there. I like these areas where you can't actually see the fish following the lure. That is a real nice cutthroat. Not what we're after, but we will take that. 6.7 powder, probably our second or third best. And as you're doing those challenges, you can also be working on daily challenges, and there's weekly ones too. So essentially, you go into the challenge tab and you can activate your daily and weekly challenges from there. So for the dailies, we need to catch 10 brook trout, we need 61 pounds worth of fish, which we've been working on here and there, and we need nine silver plus. Now, what I tend to do is I pick the ones that give the most XP that I feel like I can accomplish. So in scrolling through these, most of them are like 58 XP, maybe 118. All the ones we've activated today are 301, and none require anything higher than a silver rank. I don't know that that's a rainbow, but that is a nice fish on a size six spoon. So we went back the other way just to try to hook into something. And really I went down a size Maybe to even target smaller fish, because all we need is a bronze. That's looking pretty orange. Another nice cut through. I mean, no complaints. This is definitely a good area for them. But still not going to accomplish the challenge. So we might start to move around a little bit more. Still going to be tough because we need to stay in the mission area. But it does seem like there's a lot of cutthroats and some orids in here. Now, it probably should be pointed out that the spoon is not one of the recommended lures for rainbow trout but they absolutely do hit it. We've caught a whole bunch of them on that in the past. If we go in the handbook, we can see that the lore preference basically is the spinner, and they have a couple of baits we could put on hooks as well. So we click on this, the bait and lore preferences are spinners, and then for if we wanted to have on a hook, pearl barley or dough. The only thing is that's the fourth brook trout I've caught. I've just been sitting here kind of pulling them out of here. We have that daily to catch 10 of them. And I kind of can't help but think it's not a bad thing to maybe get that done as we wait for a rainbow to show up. I don't think that's a rainbow, but it's a nice fish. I even went to the spinner. Is that an orid? If it is, it might be our best one. And kind of interesting that we got that guy's attention as soon as we did swap to the spinner. That is our biggest one. A gold at 8.42. That we will absolutely take. 
So we get this gold token as well for catching that. And I mentioned those are going to be really, really useful to basically buy the best equipment in the game. That's a little bit down the line if you're just getting started today. However, when you can get those gold tokens, they really, really will help in the future. So I will tell you what I think is happening is that because all these new fish were just added to the game, like within the last two weeks, I'm wondering if maybe rainbows are like not spawning here correctly or something like that because they just simply don't seem to be in this mission area and typically you activate the challenge and it's nothing but the species for the challenge however we might stay here a little bit longer anyway because we are catching some nice fish and maybe we do luck into a rainbow and get it done so even though we never actually got a rainbow to complete that challenge activating it was totally worth it this six and a half pound cutthroat is going to put us past the 61 pound requirement for our daily and it's going to level us up to level 39 so getting that xp actually ended up helping us out and of course catching that gold ore and getting that gold token is no pun intended worth its weight in gold it ended up being really good and we never caught a single rainbow trout now as you probably could guess the way that you earn xp and credits per catch is based on the weight of the fish and it's worked out really well here that we can look at another mechanic as well. So we've just landed a pretty nice walleye, a four and a half pounder. So we get 33 XP from that and 67 credits. That's a decent fish. And the reason we actually even managed to just catch a walleye is because we've reached that point in the day where nocturnal fish will start to be active. It is almost 1900 and I find like 1830-ish is about when I'll start to actually get bites from the nocturnal fish. So whether that is walleye, shovel nose sturgeon, species like that, will start to hit around now but if we keep throwing this spoon lure out and by the way there's another species that will hit the spoon lure while i evidently are attracted to it too i'm sure we'll be able to hook into a tiger muskie or a pike which on average are bigger fish and will make a better amount of credits from it now i can't tell what was chasing that i'm still not sure what that is we'll have to bring that in and actually see but either way we should be able to kind of look at the credits was that a small tiger muskie that is what that is. Now, he may be even smaller than the walleye, and he is at 3.97 pounds, so 28 XP compared to the 33, and 59 credits compared to, I think, what was it, 60-something? That looks like maybe a tiger muskie there, and I think it's going to be a little bit bigger. We feel a little more tension. I saw some kind of orangish color there. Is that actually what this is? Oh, that's a shovel nose sturgeon, actually. Those guys are cool. There's a four and a half pounder again, so 31 XP and 64 credits. Now, it's not just the weight. I believe the score counts too, and the way the score is calculated is with your equipment, the weight of the fish, I believe the time it took to fight the fish and land it, all that stuff kind of goes into it. However, you kind of see already here, and they've all been almost the exact same size in weight. Just kind of the difference in credits. And as you go, as you level up and get better equipment, if you do want to earn more credits, it does pay off to target larger fish, which if we really got into a good one, maybe a 20 pound pike, it might be a several minute fight until we can land it. It is a bigger time investment, but it's a better credit payoff. But I mean, you see this spoon lore is just pretty much catching everything for us today. It's why I said at the beginning, it's a great early buy in the game because almost anything you run into will hit it. It's not gonna be every cast, some species that maybe aren't attracted like the rainbow trout we are after today. However, if you bring it by them a couple times, sometimes they will go and hit it. That's a good one. 5.7 pounds? They do get pretty big. I think we have like an 11 pound gold from right when the walleye came out. So we need a lot bigger than that for the better metals. And I like what we're seeing here. We've got something over here right where the creek feeds into the lake. No idea what this might be. It's staying up at the surface. I can't quite tell. Is that a rainbow trout? It may have just been. That is exactly what it is. The irony of that, a 4.6 pound bronze, obviously had to be in the certain area, so that's not, not going to do our objective. But you can see they do hit the spoon. <laughs> they just have to be in that area. So I do think because it's getting pretty dark on us, that's probably going to be our last catch of the day. I just wanted to go for a little fishing expedition here, talk about some beginner tips that maybe I wish I knew when I got started, and hopefully it can help you guys if you're on console and just getting into the game as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as many of those as I can. And on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.